Hey folks, welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. So, last time we made our way to the Counting House where we discovered Minsk is under the influence of Orin, who is masquerading herself as Jahira. And that seems to be why he's operating in the way he is as the Stone Lord. We need to find him and correct his misunderstanding. Uh, we're not quite sure where they absconded to. Let's take a quick look at our journal here. We saw Minsk rob the vault beneath the counting house, led by a doppelganger wearing Jahira's face. He escaped Nine Fingers' trap and teleported away. We should search the vault for clues on where he went. So that's what we need to do now. In terms of searching the vault, let's go into the main vault here, which is... Uh, that the same filth as we saw in the sewers. I guess that's our clue. That mud's the same filth we saw in the sewers. Um, I was going to say we need to investigate uh, Glitterbeard's vault here. But I think with that, we found a trail of muddy footprints in the vault. They reek of the sewer. That's where we should go next to find Minsk. All right. Good news there. Uh, we have a bunch of empty crates. And a few, a couple small pieces of uh, wares that we can pick up here. We have no real reason to break into this vault, except there might be another clue, so I think we will. Let's take a quick look. DC 30. Let's see how we do here with Astarian. Nat 20. Very nice. <laughs> Good way to start the episode. Let's just take a peek inside and see what we find. Uh, elegant studded leather. Gain a plus two bonus to initiative rolls and the shield spell, plus advantage on stealth checks. Not bad at all. Is there someone who would benefit from wearing this? No. I don't think so. It's a very nice piece of armor, but... It is light armor, so... It would be for Astarian, except the Helldusk armor grants him proficiency with this heavy armor, so he's going to be wearing that. Um, I don't think we take this. We'll just leave it here for now. And uh, we need to head to the sewers next. Uh, before we do, let's go ahead and get our boy Astarian here upgraded with another Illithid power. Now, I think we want to work towards Call the Weak. Of the available items, Charm isn't bad. Ability Drain isn't bad either to drain Dexterity. That could lower someone's armor class. If they if they were at an even number, like if they were if they had a dex of 18 and we lowered it to 17, their armor class is reduced by one. So that could be a good power for him. Call of the Weak is also pretty dang strong. How many powers has he got now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so it would be like 9, 10. If you get somebody below 10 hit points, they just die. Could be good. Uh, it's down here. So I'm not sure how many powers we'll need. I do like the idea of Ability Drain, but I don't know how many more Illithids we're going to get. Um, he is almost never concentrating on a spell, so this is going to be hard for him to use. Let me double check. What is what does he have that he could be concentrating on? Does he have a cantrip that he could concentrate on? This is not concentration. None of these cantrips are. So he'd have to be he'd have to be casting a spell here. Um, and Crown of Madness is the only concentration spell he has. So it's kind of a gamble here. Do we think that we're going to get like three more of these in the playthrough? Seems plausible to go for Call the Weak. It is very powerful. It won't be as strong as Antava, but I think I do want to go for this. So we'll take Concentrated Blast and work our way towards Call the Weak here. Okay, so the next one we get, we can put in Call the Weak, and then uh, we can follow up with Ability Drain. I'm not opposed to the idea of Psionic Backlash either. He doesn't use his reaction very often, and being able to target spellcasters with even a little bit of damage can be great for breaking concentrations, so... Alright. Seems we need to head to the sewers. Let's do that.
Okay, so... Oh, something just got updated. All right. Wow, a lot of... Uh, <laughs> we entered the sewers. The Stone Lord must be here somewhere. All right. Uh, save Vaughn was complete. Avenge the Hag Survivors is complete. Return request. Gold got updated. Aid the Underduke. So I wonder if we should bother to go speak with... Uh, nine Fingers. Or if we should just... Wait until we found Minsk first. I think probably we wait until we meet Minsk first. So we're going to head up in this direction. This is the remaining part of the sewers that we haven't seen yet. It appears there's a cache here that we found out about. So I guess we'll go pick that up. Yes. I think we'll do this. There was the body of the wizard around here somewhere that we met that we never quite... I think it's... I think it's in this area. Uh, we never quite figured out what to do with the body there. But it looks like if we head up the right side, we can cross over here, get to this cache, whatever it is, and then continue our exploration. So let's do that. All right. Step quick. Let's get going. Let's lead with Tava here. Some dead bodies that we killed before. That's fine. We will ignore these grease balls. They're non hostile, so we don't need to worry about them. Uh, there does appear to be someone or something hostile over here. Oh, the impenetrable slumber guy. Right. He poisoned himself to death. Or slept himself to death or something like that. Okay, it's right in front of us. I'm not sure what it is. But it's like over here. Yeah, right in front of us. We have a dirt mound. Okay. Let's crack this open. Why did everybody just fail a perception check? I'm not sure. Marked chest sword. Hmm. Okay. Well, for safety's sake, I will move everyone a little bit away from this chest in case it blows up or something. And let me get our... No, we can't get the mage hand back that way. At least things have stayed interesting. We did have some sort of equipment that allowed mage hand casting. I can't remember what it was. Uh, not absorb elements or flesh melter. Might have been some gloves. No. Maybe it was a ring? Or... That's Thunder Wave. Invisibility and Blur. We're wearing the rest of these. Could it have been... an amulet? Shield, gust of wind, misty step. Nope. Okay, I don't know what it is, but uh, I guess we're gonna have to send somebody over to do this. So let's send Tava. Let's have a look. Marked chest sword. Okay, we saved against the force blast, so it was it was trapped. I guess that's what we missed, uh, and likely because it was trapped with magic, we had a we. It was a. Uh, uh, an Arcana check, rather than... <laughs> she failed again. It was an Arcana check, rather than a... Uh, a perception check. What about you? You can find it. Marked chest coin, we can disarm. Okay, so now we've got two of them up here. 
Mark chest, sword, and coin. Was there another dirt mound around here? There is another dirt mound. Okay. Is that blood? No, never mind. So we've got three chests that were buried here. She notices it. Okay, let's have Astarian disarm. So I think I understand this now. So right here we have a cobalt thief and an exploded chest. Uh, so we've got crown, sword, and coin. Crown can just be opened. Let's lockpick sword here. And then coin can just be opened. Don't I'm not sure if there's a further trap or what, but let's uh, let's see what these three chests contain. I don't remember the quest that found us these or how we found them. Uh, we have a scrawled note in this one. What you're looking for, is suck thung. <laughs> somebody was uh, somebody was playing games here. Nice try, Jack and Ape. And in the crown. Keep looking, Kank. Going real well for you, isn't it? Hmm. Is there another dirt mound that I've missed? Oh, there is one over here. Okay, I guess we'll dig this up. Uh, this one is marked with a gem. I don't know. I don't remember how we learned about this cache. Maybe it was from the Cobalt Thief... We met a cobalt thief up at the cemetery, I remember that. But I really don't remember where we where we learned about these. <laughs> How are you, robber? Bored yet? Hmm. There's gotta be an actual because the cash marker is still here. There's gotta be another. There's got to be an actual treasure here somewhere that we can find. Here we go. There's another dirt mound there. Let's get that one dug up. Can we see any more? All right, her perception failed on this one. Let's back her off and have a starian go. Have a gander. Subtle steps. Perception failed. It isn't Arcana. It is perception. She failed. All right. Jahira, any chance? No. All right. Well, for some reason, traps seem to be bugged recently. And they don't seem to be doing damage. But I'm still going to carefully go ahead and open this one. Mark Chest Dragon. Let's see what happens to her. So we saved against the Force Blast. Oh, now it's locked. Mark Chest Dragon. This is a DC-20. This might be the one. Let's see. All right. Oh, and it's not that great. Just some more gold. Okay. Well, uh, we need to continue uh, exploring this area. So it looks like we can go into the water and up and then over to the left here. So I think I'll go around the edges. Um, I need to take a quick break. We'll be right back. And we're back. Apologies for that brief interruption. Uh, let's go ahead and get moving here. We're going to go down into the water and proceed up the left side of the sewer zero. Just as I was getting bored, our lord sends us a little diversion. Oh, interesting. We've accidentally stumbled into some more. I'm guessing these are Bainites or Ball, sorry, Ball worshippers. Yeah, Aura of Murder. Aura of Murder. All right, well, Barnes has Sanctuary on him. Uh, Kevo Foggy <laughs> has that aura of murder and unstoppable thing. Galleria here appears to be some sort of a rogue, I guess. Um, looks like we get three people get to go here. So I think with a Starian, we probably want to use uh, a spell. Tava can fly. Where can she get to? 
Yeah, it's gonna take her. It's gonna take Carlock a while to get where she needs to go, because Jahir is standing in front of her, and she needs to. Looks like she's not gonna come down the the right way here. Man, that's annoying. So we'll have to jump with her, I guess. So let's have her jump down. And let's see what we can do. Can we get to you for a melee attack for a kill? We can. All right. Well, let's do this. Oh, there's some caustic brine there with acid damage on it. Interesting. Wow. One shot kill. Very nice. Uh, can we get to you? We cannot. So we'll go, we'll go ahead and make some uh, ranged attacks here to break up the, uh... Now, she probably does more damage with a ranged attack than Astarian does with, um... Than Astarian would with magic missiles. So let's have him jump down as well. Okay. Let's get him in here. And let's use Magic Missile to do some damage here, if we can get close enough. Looks like our best bet is to come right here to do it. There we go. One, two, three. I think we got rid of the Unstoppable. Yes, we did. All right, so that is Astarian's turn. Let's end him. Uh, Carlock here can't reach her, so we're going to make uh, a ranged attack or three here. There's one, there's two, and there's three. Now, Tava should be able to finish. How close can we get? We can get to here, or perhaps here, and take some shots, I think. We can. Let's go ahead... Well, do we want to reapply Hunter's Mark to her? We don't really need to. Let's go ahead and apply it to Can't Harm Because of Sanctuary. Hmm. What else do we want to do? Area effect attacks would hit this guy. But he's going to get a turn no matter what we do. So I think we'll just avoid using our bonus action at all here. I don't see... Yeah, it's a waste of a black hole. I don't think we need this bolt of celestial light to frighten him. We need a short rest before we can use some of these other abilities. So I think we just don't use our bonus action here. We could concentrate here. Or we're concentrating on um, on Hunter's Mark, so we could use Concentrated Blast. No, I think, I think we don't need to here. This guy gets one turn to do whatever he's going to do. He might go invisible, but a Starion should be able to see him. Let's just finish Kevo Fog here. And there we go. He actually took a little bit of damage there from the, uh, from the Call of the Week. Alright, let's do this. Let's get right up in his face, I think, as best we can. And let's end turn. Let him go. What do you want to do? <laughs> Critical miss. Love that. 14 damage is okay. We'll take that. He's going to shroud himself. Alright, that's going to make things tough for Jahir to do anything useful here. Uh, she's in the Caustic Brine and took two damage. All right. Uh, does she have an area effect cantrip? She has Poison Spray. Might work. Where was he? He was up here. Yeah, we can't, we don't have enough distance on this. Produce Flame. We can throw this. She's produced flame, but then it takes... Oh, we can hurl it? Okay. I guess we hurl it as best we can near where we think they are. Uh, she needs a line of sight. We'll see what this does. I've never actually used this cantrip before. Not enough. Okay. 
All right, Astarian, get yourself up here to reveal this person. There we go. And a sneak attack to finish. Yeah, sneak attack on a critical hit. Okay, there we go. Another bunch of fools taken out. The only cost was 14 temporary hit points from Carlock. All right. So, quick little battle. Nothing that difficult. We'll check uh, the bodies for loot. We have a smoke powder bomb. And some more daggers. We've got like 40 daggers on us right now. Let's go ahead and loot Barnes here. And the third one was Kevo Plog, or Kevo Fog. Foggy? He had some more interesting stuff, it looks like. And crossbow plus one and some arrows. All right. How are we doing? We're still not encumbered? Very nice. Okay. So let's take a look at the map. Uh, I want to come down along this outside edge here. So we'll head down and around and see what we discover. I wonder if we should be sneaking here. It's no use. The bloody thing's jammed. There's a sluice valve. Why would we want to interact with that? The temperature valve? An emergency release valve? Okay. So that opened that door. We've got a water level valve. And an emergency release valve. It seems like we can interact with this to adjust the level of water in this area, but I don't know why we would want to. Perhaps if the enemy had done something here. Oh, this is the temperature valve. The emergency release valve. Maybe let's raise the water level, see what happens. It says water level rising. Water level rising, but it... Hmm. Temperature increase. And then emergency release. Huh. So maybe there's something we need to do to get this to blow up, or... We could blow this thing up, I guess. If we wanted to. I'm not sure why we want to. There's also a pathway down here. Hold on. Oops. Okay, so I guess that's the result of what we did there. Maybe we... took a few points of damage there. I'm not sure what we're doing here or what this thing is. <laughs> let's, uh, let's jump over the caustic acid here. Okay, that's everybody over the acid. I'm not quite sure what to make of that machinery. Obviously, we blew part of it up, so something bad tainted. happened, or something happened as a result. What did you say? What's tainted? Now, where is this headed? We can see there's a long tunnel here going somewhere. At this point, we're not really sure what we're doing. Um, is there some way I can see in here? Okay. Alright, we've got some more enemies over here. Who are you? That's Minsk! The Mad Rashimar. Roa Moonglow, a traitor. All right, I think we want to go speak with them. I don't think we want to ambush them. So this might result in us getting hurt, but let's let's go ahead on in and talk to these folks. Seems to be stuck. Oh, 
All the coin seems to be there, if a little blood stained. You lot are enthusiastic about your lord's work. Our lady. We serve only the absolute. Oh, silly me. We center him are so long past our own godly roots. I'm afraid I forget the half of them. But you, I know. When did you start worshipping gods? Did they give your wee rodent a worm friend too? <coughs> rodent? Enough! You will show the Stone Lord proper respect. And you will return to the guild hall and do as we have paid you to. Of course. I only thought... Wait. Flop all you wish, little fish. But Minsk has caught you. On that note, good luck. The job will be done by the time you get to the guild hall. Interesting. Interesting indeed. So... Okay. Some interesting stuff there. Uh, Orin, as masquerading as Jahira, has apparently ordered the Zentrim to maybe attack Nine Fingers Keen or the Guild Hall. Uh, we also know that Kairos seems to be working against the Guild Hall as well. And we have Minsk here. The problem with him is we don't want to kill him. So what do we do? How do we solve this situation? Obviously, we take out the rest of them. It looks like Carlock is up here. I think this situation is serious enough that we do need to... Oh, Roa, Roa here is available for us. So if she, if Carlock can get to Roa and take her out, not enough movement. Hmm, okay. Uh, I was gonna say, if we can kill Roa before she leaves, we may be able to prevent whatever's happening there. We've got an extra Jahira as well. That's something we have to deal with. Um, I think what we want to do here is use a black hole on Tava to draw everybody in a little bit closer for Carlock to work with. Also to slow them, that would be really good. Let's do that. Let's pull them all in a little bit, I think. So I want to move them as much as I can. I want to get as many of them as I can. Yeah, this looks like a good opener from Tava here. <laughs> That's great. Okay, then let's have Carlock. I think it's time for her to rage. And let's get her in here to get started. Now, who do we think she can get a kill on? You have 28 hit points, so definitely you. Let's do it. Okay. We don't want to kill Minsk. If we have to fight him, we want to knock him unconscious. Uh, who else do we have here? Nightblade heir to pull. We have the fake Jahira. Can't reach her or Roa Moonglow because these guys are in the way. So I think we'll come over here and work on this Nightblade. Yes. Okay, we get another action because of our uh, our bloodlust. Now, one thing we could do here is have Tava use her action to haste Karlok to give her even more stuff to do. Hmm. If we take this person out, we have enough movement to get up to Jahira. How could we do that? We could definitely get the kill with Tava. But Tava can just fly up there anyway. So I think, okay, we'll just, we'll kill this person. And we'll get started on this one. Okay, that's a good turn from Carlock. Let's have her fly here and work on Jahira. Yes, I think. Now, she may turn into Orin when we do this. What is this over here? Death's Head of Ball? All right. Uh, yeah, slowed and displaced. Let's let's get some work in here on, on this fake Jahira. 
I think I will choose to crit here and dump in a smite. Now, how many spell slots do I have? All right, let's crit. And let's dump in... Well, we don't need the Divine Smite 3 here. But maybe the maybe it carries over as she transforms, so let's do it. Huh. So this was not a real Jahira. All right. I think we go after... Well, we could kill this person. Or we could go after Roa. I think we get the kill here. Okay. That's a good turn from Tava. Stunning strike on Karlock. One damage from, what is he, throwing daggers? Weird, okay. All right, Astarian. I need you to do some work here, for sure. Uh, he is not gonna be able to get invisibility or advantage on any of these folks. You know what he could do? He could start working on Minsk here. We don't want to kill him. But we can do... Knock someone unconscious instead of killing them. Must be unarmed or using a melee weapon. Doesn't work on undead or constructs. All right, so we need to make a melee attack. I don't think we can get 100 damage from him. From uh, Astarian. Even if he crits a sneak attack, I don't think that happens. So, I am, I have to say I am reluctant to attack Mints directly. These three are all going to go though, so maybe he uses his stage fright here. That's, that's maybe a better use of his abilities. Let's try this. Because that stops them from doing a lot of damage to us. All three failed their save, very nice. Maybe we take a quick peek back around the corner here and hide? And we'll just back up a little bit and cutting action hide here. Okay, let them do what they're gonna do. Oh, I didn't know about this guy. Okay. Uh, Mints cast Hunter's Mark on Jahira. We can use a little Psionic Backlash here. Do some damage to him, get him started. And then he used Conjure Barrage, but we saved. Okay, she desperately wants us not to kill him. I understand that. All right, uh, Jahira. I really don't know what we're going to do here. She has limited move. She can get up to Minsk. She can't get to these guys, but she's a spellcaster, so we have lots of other stuff we can do. Um, dominate person? Ooh, I like this. Let's dominate Minsk. Let's try this. That takes him out of the fight while we work on other things, right? That's a good turn for her. That succeeded. Bonus action. We've got healing word, dueler's enthusiasm. Shars Aegis, we're already concentrating. Hellcrawler could be good. Yeah, let's Hellcrawler up and do some damage to these two. Right here, I think. Okay. Uh, that was a lot of stuff that happened. Hold on, let me look at this. Jahira used Hellcrawler. Death's Head Ball seated on a saving throw. Lost condition unstoppable too. Uh, blasted Death's Head of Ball for one fire damage. Roa Moonglow succeeded. She blasted Roa. Jahira received condition Fire Infusion. Deals additional one to four fire damage the next time it deals damage with a weapon. Blasted Nightblade Edward. Unstoppable one. Yeah, a lot of stuff happened there. Okay. That's a good turn from Jahira. Took Minsk out of the fight for a moment. As long as she maintains concentration, he won't fight against us. All right. Snicker. Wow! 14 damage from Snicker. And Roa is running away. All right. Uh, now we're up with Carlock. We need to get some work done with her. Let's come attack Nightblade Edward Tremby. Let's get another one for the kill. There's our Bloodlust. Uh, let's go ahead and hit Death's Head Ball, Nov Schmaz. 
We'll go Reckless. Uh, let's throw in Great Weapon Master bonus attack. He's down to three. All right, we'll kill him. Does it make sense to... No, we can leave him for... No, he gets to go soon, so I guess we need to do this. Let's take him out. Okay. Good turn from Carlock. Uh, let's get Tava involved. So we got this dog and we got Roa. We need to take Roa out before she leaves. Um, let's fly over here. What do we want to do for our bonus action here? I think we just transfer Hunter's Mark. She's already... Well, we could reuse Black Hole to slow her. But I think we just go for the kill here. Uh, how many spell slots do I have? I only have one level two left. One should be enough. We need to do, what, 28 damage, I think, here? Oh, she's, got, she's done. Okay. That just leaves the dog. And then Minsk is dominated. I don't know how that's going to play out when we end the fight here. But let's end Tava's turn. And let's see if we can't take a shot at the dog. Successful on hiding. Very nice. Goodbye, Snicker. Okay. So what happens when we drop concentration on our Dominate? I guess we'll find out. Yes. We go back into turn order. All right. Carlock's up. Let's switch on non-lethal attacks. Make some melee attacks here. I do have non-lethal. You know what? Just in case, because this is so important, and sometimes this game screws me over, I'm going to make a quick save here. And we're going to take him out with non-lethal attacks. Okay. Someone inside out. Uh, it has to be melee. Let's turn on non-lethal. Why is Uncanny Dodge never on? Oh, I need to sneak attack here. That should count as melee. You know what? Maybe I don't sneak attack here. Just in case it has some sort of weird interaction. Let's do a normal melee attack. Okay, he's down to 12. Never Let's have Jahira finish it. Oh, let me go back here. Turn this off. Can't do it off his turn. I need to remember that. Okay. Non-lethal attacks are on for her. Is it? Is this global to the party? It is global to the party. Got it. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and use Dueler's Enthusiasm here. She missed. Okay. Against the darkness swarming, his senses a single light. Glimpse. Good, he's alive. Rage flaring brighter every moment. Cute. He won't stay down for long. Tell your Elithi to protect him from the Elder Brain's influence. Quickly! No. This one will not aid our cause. Get rid of him. Uh, we're definitely extending our protection to Minsk. Don't be foolish. He is too unpredictable. He will only be a hindrance to us. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> you will do as I command? I don't think he cares about Jahira's friend. I don't think this will play right. We're still playing this game with the Emperor. 
with Tava at least. I think so this the emperor has no emotions, possibly no soul. He's purely rational. We need to persuade him with an argument that makes sense to him. So I think we're going to go with number 2 here. His unpredictability saved the city before. We need him. No. I will not be coerced into protecting him. You do not see what I do. His thoughts, his mind, pure chaos. The mind flare pours poison in your ear, I think. Tell it I will tear the prism from your grasp and throw it into the deepest lava pit I can find. Long after our bones are dust and ash, the walls of its prison will still be burning. Now help my friend! She bluffs. Surely she would not risk the fate of all for one simple. Hmm. I don't think you want to find out. Fine. Have it your way. His mind unfolds beneath yours. A still lake pulls you down into its depths. Images flash by. Battles fought and friends fallen. His rage grows colder, burrows deeper, as a familiar face crystallizes before you. Jahira, you killed her! You are being dramatic. The instant's hesitation is enough. With a sensation of terrible rending, something vast and nameless falls away from his mind. There, it is done. <laughs> Jahira, I... Do not understand. Good. That means you're back to your old ways. We have a lot to discuss. But first, you have someone to thank. In the sudden silence, your minds merge once more. More memories, sensations, but passing too quickly for you to track. In the same breath, you share everything that happened to you. The Nautiloid, the Absolute, the Chosen of the Dead Three. You... You saved Minsk. While he danced like a Mind Flayer's meat puppet. Why? Hmm. Why did we do this? I mean, mostly because Jahira asked us to. Yeah, if I'm being honest, it was mostly because Jahira asked us to. Suggested. You do well to heed her. Jahira was very wise. Even before she was very old. There is someone you must meet. He is... Uh, he is... Where is he? I guess he has <coughs> a pet rodent that was mentioned. <laughs> that was interesting. So he's gonna go look for his pet. All right. Uh, <laughs> well, let's check in with. Looks like Carlock and Jahira both have things to say. Well, I Jahira doesn't, but you would think she would. Let's talk to Jahira first. Yes. Hmm. Okay. What about you, Carlock? That was Minsk. The Minsk. Part of the crew who saved the city from Saravok all those years ago. To know who the Stone Lord is or what the hell he's gotten himself into. But that man is a legend. That's right, Carlock is kind of a fangirl of Jahira and her adventuring party, of which Minsk was obviously also a part. Uh, we learned that when we first arrived at the Last Light Inn uh, many, many episodes ago. Okay, guys, uh, I'm gonna take a break here. When we come back, uh, we've got to loot some bodies here, check in with Minsk, find his little, little friend. The sunset can't come quickly enough. And then uh, figure out what we're going to do after that. But there's a lot left to do. So we've got more of the sewer to explore. We have to follow Minsk and help him find his rodent friend. Uh, there's a lot to do. In the meantime, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take care.